if you love God and you want to go far please get this message and listen to it you become stable in life when you practice retreats periodically there are times I go for retreats and I say Lord am I are the messages I'm preaching in Koinonia is it consistent am I am I leading the people in the right way and God tells me sometimes you see me tell you that God gave me messages here messages most of these messages you see commanding results that they talk about and all of this the names the lifter of men that message has blessed I was lying down on the bed praying and the next thing I saw on my pillow the lifter of men that's how I saw the message you would think people are lying if you are not a man of the secret place please we are spending too much our of our life in the open a great man of God most of your life should be indoors you are preparing for an extraordinary life sister God has told you you are going to marry a great man of God cat walking around is not going to bring you the marriage you go back shakos kapata leketekos kamata you are praying and building your spirit to carry the load of ministry is not it's not a wheelbarrow you are pushing you are carrying destinies on your head there are many of us because you don't have the spiritual stamina for the level you are praying for god will never take you there he will take you there and you can die in one month because of the kind of attack and persecution that comes at that level there are even finances this prosperity thing you see is warfare prosperity is warfare oh god make me a millionaire and god says son you are too innocent you don't know the attack that happens when you have money is god speaking to us this message is calling us a restoration back to retreats some of you you have not had any retreat this year next week is our workers retreat thank god but much more than a workers retreat let me tell you the truth if there is anyone who has been connected to this ministry for a while and you cannot go on a personal retreat you are not growing you are not growing no matter how busy you think you are you may not have the money to book a hotel or a place and by hotel you don't book a hotel where they are playing music in the night and clubbing you have you have you have, you have ruined the whole retreat find a place alone walk around oh god show me what am i not getting well what am i getting and you are walking and talking like a madman you think you are talking alone one hour you are talking by yourself this is what will happen lord this ministry you are giving me this anointing this healing anointing and you stand and the power of imagination begins to come you are standing and seeing yourself ministry and you are sensing a time will come the climate starts to shift his majesty is coming make way for him all of a sudden he can come there two three hours you may not know what is happening until the next time you hold a mic when you hold a mic you will see the fruit of your retreat ordinary praise the lord you are going to see people getting healed and you say what is this like the gentleman who was saying you don't just speak and the power of god touches people god is not a magician you can fake power you can't fake his presence you can borrow revelations here and there you must have a track record are you ready to pray our time is gone find a corner for yourself in the next five minutes we are going to blast in the spirit instrumentalists help us we are going to pray just find a place alone for god's sake with god cry your heart this night to god and say father something is wrong i need stability in my life lift your voice and pray Mandas kata prahasana makata shekete kete kete embra katosko para kato shekete nante kasko matande shemekata there is something wrong oh god i don't have a personal encounter with you help me oh god today i think i'm born again tomorrow i'm not sure again i need a personal encounter pray shamala kato shabaka Embra dos kopeke dos kela katos 
Sekete kete kete Embreke to shoto kata maria kata Le kata bashkada barato sanaka Pray Shekete balabosh Manta brakatos ke pekoto shekete Lekete brakatos ka barakata Embreke kata barakatos Shekete kete kete Rakato koto pekete Give me a personal encounter a personal encounter a personal encounter in the name of Jesus pray Shabarakatos Leketakatopakata pray pray outside make sure you are praying you are following online pray Shekotokotopreketekelekos Embreketekekekata Sakatoska Prakatoshiata. Lord, restore my values. Restore my foundational values. Restore my foundational values. Restore it. The values I kept when I started with you. The values I kept when you started using me. The values I kept when the anointing started coming upon my life. The values I kept that gave me revelation, influence, restore, oh God, restore, oh God, restore, oh God. Shabrakatos segete, embreketos kada barakatos keda bash, nakata brakata. You are a man of God here. Pray, pray, Lord, what am I missing? Pray, Lord, what am I missing? What has my growth in the spirit taken from my life? What am I missing? What about prayer am I missing? What about fasting am I missing? What about the study of the word am I missing? What about character am I missing? Hallelujah. You're going to pray and say, Father, destroy my life. Anything that will stop me from getting to my place of destiny, lift your voice and cry. circumcision hold on to the, the horns of the altar pray pray take it from me oh God that this destiny of beauty and glory will emerge circumcise me oh God with the circumcision of the spirit circumcise my ministry circumcise my voice circumcise the anointing upon my life Manta Tosca Baracata, Eke Tosca Baracatos Ketekedia, Shapraska Tamba Sekete, Cut away the flesh, Cut away the flesh, Cut away the flesh, Cut away pride, Cut away loss, Cut away pride, Cut away loss, Cut away the flesh until your glory is seen in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point for tonight, and then we are done. Listen, hold on. There are many things in terms of the supplies of heaven that must reach a believer to add to his stability. The truth is that when your finances is going wrong it can affect your stability are we together there are many of our beloved sisters 
who would have loved God and sat down properly to hear God for their lives but because of the need of their families they are out trying to look for anybody that has the means even if it's not the will of God there are some of you gentlemen here who cannot settle down for one day because you have a lot of needs financial needs family needs there are some of us we will not dare go for a retreat you wouldn't even imagine it because the devil keeps piling up needs we are going to pray and say lord open heavens over my life whatever must be released over my life to give me rest to seek and serve you lift your voice and pray open heavens oh god open heavens open heavens oh god lord solve this financial issue once and for all so that myself and my wife and my children can call upon your name let me birth this pregnancy the bible says and adam knew his wife and she gave birth to Seth. and men began again to call upon the name of the lord what do you need to give birth to that will give you the liberty to again begin to call upon the name of the lord Open heaven, so God. Open heaven, so God. Help my family. Lord, the cry of my father, the cry of my mother, the cry of school fees, the cry of Joe is not allowing me to seek you. I prophesy open heavens. I declare open heavens. The power, the powers that fight my possession the powers that fight a release of my blessings that will allow me serve god the lord rebuke you the lord rebuke you poverty the lord rebuke you delay the lord rebuke you failure the lord rebuke you hallelujah just give me one more minute we are still going to pray this prayer there are some of you that need to pray the issue of marriage and children will not let you serve God when you sit down like this all that is coming to your mind is marriage you are going to pray Lord let the marriage come and go so that I can if that's what it means to give me rest some of you is your school fees some of you is your education you sit down just remember five carryovers where do i start from are we together some of you no favor you want to go on a retreat if a call comes from your mother my daughter my son can i get something and you say mommy you have come again you are going to pray satan the lord rebuke you release that which god has re has released already into my life so that it will give me rest lift your voice and pray the purpose of the blessing is to give you rest and peace to serve the Lord. Open your mouth and rebuke Satan. I command a release of that anointing that will give you rest in ministry. That anointing that will give you rest in business. Lord, establish my business so that I can have the time to serve you. Lord, establish me. I'm tired of staying in a rented apartment. This rent issue is affecting my time with you. Give me my own space. Give me my own place. Lord, I'm tired of begging for food. It's not allowing me to walk in integrity. In the name of Jesus, let the heavens be open over my daily bread. Let it not be a concern again. Pray. Ah, 
Kasinan, Kamunan, Serking Al Janna, Yana, Kasinan, Kamunan, Yana, Kasinan, Kamunan, Serking Al Janna, Yana, Kasinan. Sarkin salakuna, ya na na, ya na na. Sarkin salakuna, ya na na. Listen, this prayer you see that I just gave you. I prayed this prayer for this ministry. Listen, I said, Lord. I don't want to be a man of God that will ever manipulate people in church for finances. I want to be a blessing. I don't want to be the man of God that will hold a basket and stand after service and say, come and drop money. What happens to those who don't have it? But if my needs are not met and there are bills in the ministry, it will force me to do it. Let me tell you this. The Bible says the rod of the wicked, listen, shall not fall upon the lot of the righteous. Why? Lest they dip their hands. There is something that can happen to the righteous that will make them dip their hands in iniquity. That's why sometimes we need to pray and say, Lord, open the heavens fast. Open the heavens fast. So that the pressure of ministry does not get to me and now make me to start lying to people and say what god did not say lord open the heavens fast so that that child will come so that it will not lead me to go and meet a harbalist for a child open the heavens fast oh god so that a husband a wife will come so that i will not have to go and meet someone and do one arrange devilish thing and destroy my life is it all right if you pray that prayer one more time lord open the heavens for the sake of my righteousness for the sake of your grace for the sake of my spiritual life open the heaven open the heaven send me help from zion oh god lord send me the admission i don't want to have to do malpractice lord help me graduate I don't have to call someone to write my exams for me. Lord, give me a job. I don't want to be a prostitute. Lord, I don't want to be an arm robber. I don't want to be a 419 Let your heavens be open. Let me have the resources to take care of my family. hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord i want you to go back and listen to this message again and vow that you will be stable in your life stability does not just happen there are forces that make it happen and you must cry and align with god to make for those forces to happen and then you will be stable are we together now Lift your hands. I pray for you. In the name that is above all names. The kind of encounter that is needed to keep you for Jesus for life. May you have that encounter. The kind of encounter that can make you stand. That even if you are the only Christian in a family of non-Christians. The encounter is too deep for you to think of going back. I release it upon your life. Amen. 
number two i pray for you as you go back may you revisit your foundational values and for those who do not have may god grant you the grace to create values that pertain unto life and godliness in the name of jesus christ every dimension in the body needed for your life that you have ignored either through pride or ignorance i pray for you may your spirit be open to receive those dimensions may your spirit be open to receive those dimensions in the name of jesus and finally i pray for you for those who are overdue for a retreat grace to run for a retreat quick receive it in the name of jesus especially for my dear men and women of god brothers and sisters in the vineyard you are a man of god here and you know you sense you know in your spirit that i am overdue for a retreat please i supply grace for you tonight if you need some resources to put a place together to spend time with god may god release those resources in the name of jesus christ for anyone here who has a problem with genuine fasting and prayer on a consistent basis i pray for you that limitation let it die now in jesus name. for those who love pleasure more than god you love god but you love your flesh more than him you would throw god a thousand times to satisfy anything you want i pray for you tonight let that spiritual circumcision happen to you here let no sacrifice you have to go through to build your spiritual life be too much for you in the name of jesus christ and i pray finally whoever has laughed and mocked the god you serve i declare that by the evident hand of god upon your life you will bring every every speakings ill speakings of men to judgment in the name of jesus christ maybe i should add this one prayer if there is anybody in this place whose life is not producing results the results you know befits one who knows god i pray for you whatever needs to shift over your heavens to make you step into a level of provable results may it happen to you tonight in the name of jesus you've never met jesus i want to invite you now apostles sincerely under god i stand and i lie not i have not encountered jesus you are in the main auditorium please keep standing overflow one overflow two overflow three and you are saying apostle this message tonight was for me i need to rush to god i have given my life to god but things have happened around my life that calls for a rededication if you are in any of these groups please our time is gone overflow three you can walk to your projector stand but overflow one two by the roadside and inside you belong to any of these categories please boldly make your way to the front i would like to pray with you it will be my joy to pray with you god bless you keep coming koinonia appreciate them as they are coming you can't hear a message like tonight and sit down as if it doesn't matter you can't hear a message like the one you have heard tonight and sit down as if it doesn't matter god bless you don't mind who is looking at you just make your way and come young and old it's never too late to know jesus and it's never too late to be serious with him apostle how about me i've been around the things of god but i'm not exactly sure please join them join them i'm not sure if i'm born again or not i don't do any bad thing i'm aware of but i'm not born again join them join them quickly koinoni are you still clapping god is bringing them it matters that people turn to righteousness 
it matters that people love Jesus with all their heart it matters that people seek him with all their heart it's not just the issue of evangelism people must the more we win souls the more God has bodies to manage